Testing audio, testing audio. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. So uh, I apologize for starting a little bit late in terms of time because I usually start my streams a bit earlier in the day, um, but uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to get time all alone so I had to do it a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so let's make sure that the game is actually being playable and turn on my light to ensure better camera. Yeah, that's better. Oh. So I hope everyone is doing good today. Right now I'm wearing my, uh, what are they called, uh, Steel Series Arctis One headset instead of my uh, normal whatever other ones. And I will say it is a bit odd because um, the other ones that I wear have like an active noise canceling mode where I can just turn it on. This one, I think, doesn't. I think it has a bit of noise canceling, but not as much. So it's odd because I can hear my voice a bit more through these, um, as opposed to the other ones. But regardless, so we are coming in here as Donna, if I remember correctly. Like we just did uh, a dungeon as her, and we are in control of her again. And. Uh, there was that path that I wasn't able to go down. Um, that's the story destination. I'm gonna fast travel there because it's a little bit annoying because I can't want to be able to like, I will say I do like the Cold Steel maps a little bit better. Yeah, I, I think I'm just locked out of this until another event happens, unfortunately. Um, actually, you know what? I can just do this. 
<laughs> because nothing nothing happened. So might as well just load. Um, so I hope everyone's doing good on this fine day. And I apologize if uh, there's any background noise to the uh, audio or the mic, at least my my talking audio, because I have that fan going. And I have another uh, other fan going because it's a bit hot in my room, but not hot enough to warrant an AC. So it's like, well, just deal with it for a little bit. Um, so I hope everyone is doing good on this fine day. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop this. Make everyone's days better. Yay! That turned out great! Yeah, there we go. My day is now about 50% better. <laughs> yeah, my vision, that bridge up ahead has fallen. In that case, uh, we can get some rest. In that case, I gotta plant a tree. Yeah. Please. Open a path for Adol. <laughs> uh, I, I do like this, like, okay, I'm gonna act as Donna in the past, knowing Adol's uh, future. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't. Um, there's not much I can do about <laughs> that just, like, blinding, uh, blinding light. So maybe I can Alter. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe that's a little bit better. Nah, not really. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to deal with a <laughs> literal like blown out light in the background. <clears throat> Are you okay, Otto? Hmm? I don't remember what voice I did for Thanatos. Oh, motherfucking tree! How convenient. Oh, wow, this is incredible. It's almost like the trees are trying to prevent the bridge from collapsing. Now we can keep going. It's one thing to hear you guys describe this, but it's another thing to actually see it. Yes. That'll explain that Donna is deliberately trying to help them. Could that really be true? That must mean she's aware of Adol's actions, too. Either way, now we can move on. Yes, let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree. Like, I, d I do like how they didn't make it so like, oh yeah, the tree is just holding up the bridge perfectly. It's like, no, it's, it's holding the pieces together just enough. Like how me jumping will make the other people jump for some uh, certain things. What is this building, Father? It's a mountain gate that leads to the temple. Yes. The people here must have worshipped that big tree, just like Adol said. I can make them disappear. This appears to be an altar. <laughs> Nothing actually important. Okay, and now I believe it's either through here. Ah, yes. Not sure if I can open it from this side. Yeah, no. Okay, so I can't open these doors right now, even if uh, even if I am on the other side of them. It's not it's not Dark Souls esque where it's like this door does not open from this side. It's like no, this door just does not open. Get out of here. <laughs> Which can be appreciated, and I still think I should be able to freaking jump over these. Like, look, look at how far I clear it. Like, my feet go so far above it, yet I can't go uh, over it. It's bull honky. But that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, but man, I will say, like, every day I get a little bit more excited for the for Cold Steel 4 and for the PlayStation 5. Not sure if I'll get it on launch, because probably won't be a lot of them, but I look forward to... It's, it's always interesting when the next gen of consoles comes out. <clears throat> ah, here we are. The Temple of the Great Tree. We could see this from the uh, Gendarme, but now it's right here in front of us. I bet this old place was a thing of beauty back in its heyday. It's so quiet here. Hmm. 
This place is likely a nesting ground for beasts and primordials. I wonder if that tree behind the temple is the great tree of origins. All right. Let's get a closer look. Meh. You could catch a lot. I hear fishing. Where do you... Obstacles prevent me from fishing? What are you talking about? <laughs> I do like that sound. Like, it is a very negatory sound. It's like, no, you are... you. You cannot. You shall not. That that get turned around. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did I? Was I an idiot? And just <laughs> and just get confused as to which direction I was actually supposed to be going. Okay. So we've been in here before, but as Donna instead. Interesting, though, that they're able to activate things without having essence of their own. The door opened on its own. What a strange mechanism. I wonder how it functions. Mm, there's a hole there. Hello there. Uh, let's just... This is the only way. Crawl through the hole. I wonder what this room was for. I have no idea, but that hole we used to get in here seemed like a hidden door. Because it's Donna's old room that she mentioned having a hidden door behind of the bookcase. This room seems familiar. Oh, it was Donna's room. See, I do like that bit of foreshadowing where, like, if you do explore, yeah, here's the bookshelf, like, as in Donna's thing where if you, like, explore, it's like, oh, yeah, there's a secret passageway hidden here. It's like, oh, okay, so that explains why there's this convenient hole here. Layers of dust cover the faded altar. The remains of a dilapidated bed. It looks somehow familiar. But, yeah, it's, it's always nice when things, uh, like, have continuity right like it's not just oh yeah it's this way to be this way it's okay i can't go through here um it's like oh no we didn't just add it for convenience it's like well we, we made it so it would be uh uh semi-appropriate for the uh character uh, uh, as well as the story it's like, it makes sense that Donna would have a, uh, a secret hole in her in her room, given that she uh, disobeys her uh, her friend at every turn, Olga. <laughs> so I was like, well, I need it to go do uh, everything that I think is part of my job. <laughs> hey, Ricotta, just tapping, tapping along. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Um, okay. Well, let's go down this way. Uh, no, that was... Damn. I thought I already went this way. Obviously need to go that way. It's just more of a curiosity of that down path. Okay. An opening. <laughs> yeah. 
It just it just puts its entire body into that dive. Um Am I a fool? Because I feel like I did a circle in a very uh, weird path. So this goes out, so back in. So I think it would, what I opened was just a small shortcut rather than progress. Or I was supposed to go down this way. And just out here. Like, am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. I was just a, I was just a fool. I was just a fool. Meow. Okay, 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 okay. Makes a bit more sense now. So I'm just gonna do that. That way I can't get lost. I'll write that save. Uh, I'm actually pretty curious. So I want to check out yeah, you. Twins hide and seek rescued Amy, sunken key. Okay, so the two back to the past things I have tell me I did everything I needed to. Which is good. Uh, because if I didn't, then that would be... A problem. Man, I wonder what I'm gonna fight. Maybe that giant chicken looking thing? Or her lizard? <laughs> I, I really do wonder. Hmm, yes, that looks very much like a chicken and not a lizard. Hmm, check out this weird looking statue. The strength its form exudes is quite palpable. Still, this is an odd spot to erect a statue. What? I don't know, you're about to fight something. Sit guitar riffs. <laughs> Master the Sanctuary Protector, Brachion. Hello. Ah, what's happening? It's a moving statue. I read about that in a book once. That was just a story, Rakota. Statues can't really move. Well, this one seems to be doing that. Then why is this one moving? <laughs> yeah. How should I know? Get ready, everyone. <laughs> it's like statues don't move, but this one's moving. Shut up. over. I didn't expect that statue to come to life. It must have been powered by the Kingdom of Eternia. It's like magic from the stories I've read. Did the people who lived here use magic? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Seems like it. Donna and her people wielded a mystical power. They called that power Essence. Maybe that's what was powering the statue. Either way, they must have been a highly advanced civilization. At any rate, our path is clear now. Let's move on. Uh, yes, indeed. I do love playing games on PC that are like... Because, uh, like, console ports on PC generally save very fast. This must be the Great Tree of Origins. And I do like it, because it's like, oh yeah, there's no, like... 
There's no like, okay, go into save, wait for it to save. It's just like boom, 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 boom. Just like immediate saves. It's huge. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. At all. Go see for yourself what's at the base of the tree. Had to have that walk. <laughs> that very small player walk. Oh my god! There's a corpse in the tree. How morbid. <laughs> oh my god. Donna! How are you alive? Are you... What? Oh my god. Oh. You gotta catch the girl that's falling from the sky. Adolf? So. Why? Why can't I remember? Uh, I pass out. <laughs> Whoa. Like, you must be so old. Hey, Adolf. Who's the girl? Donna. Hmm. I saw this girl from the sky when the pterosaur captured me. Really? You saw your eyes are that good that you're able to identify a female from hundreds of feet in the air? And after I heard that old story, I put two and two together. Did you just say Donna? Is that her? Man, good thing the Paris able to fly here. <laughs> it would really suck if one of those pterosaurs ate him. <laughs> hey, Peril, what's going on? Castaway village in trouble. Raid incoming. Repeat, raid incoming. A raid? Now? Oh, how perfect. It's like we don't have any time to question the female that we just we just uh we just obtained. No time. I think we should take her back to the village at once. Doki and the others need to know about all this. About what we've seen up here, about Thanatos, and about her. That seems wise. Man, I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, gee willikers. Whatever shall we do? Ugh. Oh, boy. While traveling in a land populated by... By primordials, Adol discovered long-forgotten ruins. At the end of his journey, he found Donna, the girl who had been appearing in his dreams. The northern region of the island contained the remains of the ancient kingdom of Eternia. If Donna is supposed to be from the past, why did we find her sleeping in the ruins of Eternia? Adol ruminated over this mysterious turn of events as he hurried back to the village. Hmm, how indeed. It's like, pay it's like maybe playing through the past will help us understand as to why. Chapter 4, The Lost World, Finn. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun, fantastic, exciting event. This is all we can do. Is Donna going to be okay? Yes, according to Licht, she is in stable health. I thought Donna was a person from the distant past. Maybe the Kingdom of Eternia existed more recently than we thought. Hmm, I don't know about that. That wouldn't explain why the Kingdom had been reduced to ruins. That's a good point. She's got a symbol on her shoulder. A symbol? It's a cool tattoo. Huh, I hadn't noticed that before now. It sort of resembles an eye. It might be an aspect of Eternian culture, possibly proof that she was the maiden. Yes, perhaps. Now, gentlemen, I think that's quite enough leering for today. At all. You finished at all? 
Oh, no, it's this guy. Hey, you finished at all? <laughs> or at all? I forget what voice I gave <laughs> you're on. You're on. Uh, how's the beast situation? Hmm, doesn't look like they'll be attacking anytime soon. Kinda wish they would, though, instead of keep us, uh, keeping us in suspense like this. Oh, well. Anyway, Dogi has something he wants to talk to you about. You guys should head to the village center. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Maiden of the Great Tree, Chapter 5. Oh boy, it's exciting. Oh, and I will say it is tough to try and like avoid spoilers because like people are streaming and talking about uh, um, uh, um, trails of the beginning or trails of uh, Hajimari. And I'm just like, oh, oh, I want, I want to watch, but I also don't want to watch because it's gonna fucking spoil this. Sh like it would spoil this shit out of Cold Steel Four. Um, even with just like character appearances and it's like oh no i don't want that but i want it if i don't but i do the ruins of a lost civilization and the girl who's been appearing in your dreams i couldn't have imagined you'd find all that on the north side of the island if you hadn't brought her back i would have said you guys were losing it or something you don't seem all that surprised though thanatos right Hang around Addo long enough and you'll build up a tolerance to his crazy stories. Or, in my case, complete immunity. Huh? Well, color me intrigued. You'll have to regale me with the tales of your adventures someday, Addo. <laughs> Only if I can hear your stories too, old man. Ha 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 is that so? I think you and me will get along just fine. Excuse me for one moment. Close that door. Nah. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I apologize, but we really need to move on to more pressing concerns. It's obvious that a great mystery lies at the heart of this deserted island. Yeah, certainly looks that way. And though we've got ship blueprints, we're not out of the woods just yet. We have enough to survive the beast raids long enough to, build, to see the damn thing built. It's also become obvious that the primordials are getting more aggressive, which makes it all the more crucial that we learn as much as we can about this island. We can try to get some answers from Donna when she wakes up. <laughs> I want Donna to be part of our family. <laughs> she seems to have lost her memories, which means it's unclear whether she'll even help us. Any thoughts on that? I don't think that'll be an issue. I see. I hope you're right. Well, in Adol's dreams, at least, she seemed eager to help out. Either way, we can't talk to her until she wakes up. Damn it, we got a raid incoming. Adol, let's focus our attention on the enemies at our gates. Ding, 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 ding. Yo, what's up, old lady? What's up, Sylvia? <laughs> it's pretty interesting how all the beasts come as in one fell swoop. This feeling in my blood. Oh, it's been too long. All right, beasts, prepare yourselves. <laughs> She's so ready. Take your time. Like, I feel like that's my favorite part about her. <laughs> she, she is oh, so ready to just demolish. Oh, we done already? Uh, for Wheel of Eternity? Um, I forget. I think I have one of those. Item. Old Seal Ring. I could have sworn I had... Oh yeah, I need to give that to someone. Um, could have sword. I should give this to the doctor. Oh well, I should probably just. No idea what that is. What is it? Um. 
a stun duration up random. Okay, ancient ring of indeterminate origin. Okay. Well, good to know. Um, there we go. Begin raid. Actually, no. Let's fortify. Tell me village. anything. You know what? Roger, Why give me not? a All right, it's done. All right, I got it. Uh, let's build All right, guys I up got a little it. bit. All finished. Oh god, yeah. Roger, Just number. Give me a sec. All right, it's done. All right, I got it. All right, it's done. Roger. Yeah, might as well max it out, right? As long as we have right, the uh, materials, done. which is good. Um, lures. All right, I got it. Just got a bunch of All bitch ass right. lures. Um, All right, I got it. And this is the definitely one of the better parts right, about New Game Plus, because. Um, if All right, I you, got it. like being able to just All have these finished. maxed is so good. Roger, give me a it's like, oh yeah, you would have to go kill a whole bunch of things All to get all finished. these materials, but no, you don't. All right, I got it. All right, it's done. Roger, give me a sec. Although I do All wish finished. it could be a bit more, um, yeah, great tree lumber, so can't do that. Um, Roger, they might as well increase the health in case things do attack All it. Finished. All um, right, I got it. All right, it's done. All right, I got it. Like, I, I kind of wish you could just be like, up it right, to this level. <laughs> and just take all the stuff at once instead of Roger, give me being able to do, okay, ting, ting, ting. All finished. All finished, yeah, I get it. All right, I How got about it. you just, you know, skip all that all right, it's and done. Uh, just let me. Okay. So basically, you can tell, like, okay, this is, <laughs> these materials are supposed to be end-of-game materials. Like the Great Tree Lumber, Diamond Shell, um, uh, Essence Panzer. Um, yeah. So, all right, I got it. Uh, I'll add that. All right, it's done. And then... All right, I got it. Uh, that way. All finished. Because, I mean, you know, if I'm going to have to do raids, if they're going to... Um, All right, Might as I well add break back. If, like, if I'm going to have to do a raid All right, every so done. often, might as well All right, try and it. make it as easy as possible on myself. All finished. Um, All right, I yeah. got it. Under the assumption that, uh, hopefully, I'll always be able All to, right, uh... Alright, prepared, good to go. Dispatch. Right, let's get ready. Okay, it's the mountain right. one, which is kind of the annoying one, but it's not that bad. Um, but, yeah, like, look, look at all these health bars now. <laughs> just around. You can, like, you can look on the mini-map and you just see all of them. See how fast the gong goes up now. And the poison helps if they attack the lure, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Having things extremely early compared to where they should be really does. Oh, dude. Oh man, our, our nun is doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that, how I can activate it just by running into it because of the uh, thing I have on. All right, let's start fixing it. Don't let him break it again. 
Keep coming from the same spot. Like, I'm killing him too quick for anyone to even help me, which I Are love. You all right? It's great. Like, you can see the lures, and they everyone barely have any, uh, any damage on them, which is awesome. I'll support you. This is it. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man, look at that. I used an extra stone. Got it. Okay. Okay. I, that, that was just me checking to make sure. Because um, I couldn't remember if the extra skill. Um, if the extra skill was across the party, or if each individual person had their own. Um, but it's across the party, so you can't just have three. What's happening? The primordials just keep coming. This is fake tired. My characters are not tired. This, this is pretty tough. We knew the primordials were starting to become more active, but now... They seem much more aggressive than usual. <clears throat> uh, more primordials. They'll overwhelm us. No, they won't. Donna coming in and one tapping them all. with boomerang-like blades. Donna? She's awake. Adol, I'll help you. How convenient that she speaks the same language from <laughs> presumably thousands of years ago. Donna, join the party. Arrange and equip your party. Um, yeah, so this is the annoying part where Adol and Donna have this same attack type, where I'm just like, I don't really care. Like, I don't, I don't exactly want her to, uh, be in my party. Um, what I am actually going to do is... I'm going to put the because their her skills still aren't maxed. Yeah, her two of her skills. Yeah, I'm gonna put the skill things on both of them. That way, hopefully, by the time that um, we get near the end of the game, they'll have almost all their stuff maxed. It's it's fine. Not even gonna use her. Like I don't Just care. a little more. <clears throat> Is Final. everyone okay? Sustain us. Go back. Now, 
I'll join in. Ooh, that was... Surprise! Surprise attack! Eh. Surprise attack! Believe in your weapon. You guys all right? You're pretty great. What? Let's end this! Couldn't avoid damage, unfortunately. There are just too many things. Oh. I'm happy I could help. <laughs> the seamstress was the most uh, contributing impressive. person. That's Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. She pulled out her super move for two of these, which she had already clocked four of them. Like, she KO'd four dinosaurs in one throw of her blades, but felt the need to drop her super on two. What incredible speed and power! Hmm. She's stronger than she looks. Oh, that is so cool! Yo, what's up, World Pay? I'm doing good. Pleasure to see you, or hear from you, or talk to you, whatever this counts as. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> I guess this is the part where I say nice to meet you. I'm Donna. It's nice to finally meet you, Adol. Are you excited that- am I excited that Trails 4 is one month away? I've been excited that Trails 4 was even announced, because as soon as it was up for pre-order, I pre-ordered it. <laughs> so yes, the answer- Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm highly excited. Oh yeah, I've been well. Um, I'm just... Like, I don't know when I'm going to finish this game, but Cold Steel 4 is immediately afterwards. Without a doubt. Because I imagine it's going to take me a few streams, at least. And based on my limited availability to stream, I think it will... I think, uh, same. Or, oh, you're limited edition. Okay. I I just went on Amazon and ordered whatever one was, like, 60 bucks. I thought about getting the limited edition, but I was like, eh, haven't gotten any of the previous limited editions for, like, the Cold Steel games. So I was like, you know, I'll just keep it as all the base edition, and then maybe from the newer ones that come up, I might go for limited edition afterwards. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm, uh, like, I, I've looked at, like, oh yeah, like, they're, like, extra mini games or whatever. Yay, we did it. Yes, great job. Now, let's go for the win. Yeah, they felt the need to let you go back to there after a cutscene, for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, apparently on, the, like, the Amazon page, they list, like, some of the mini games that you get we to play, and they mention that they've added, like, poker and blackjack and other things, like, so it seems like the casino in, um, uh, whatever town it is the Ash is from might be, uh, back in that game, but with actual games in it. I'm like, ooh, that'll be interesting to see if, like, that's a way to just grind out insane amounts of money based on bets, which I would like. I'm happy I could help. All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Splendid. Damn, yeah. that's good. And I'm like, I'm really excited for Gold Steel 4 because I'm I'm already going to be, I'm definitely going to be streaming it twice, where I'm going to, oh, I didn't see that information. Sounds good, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm definitely going to be streaming it twice, once for, like, the PS4 version to play through and have fun, and then I plan to do a second uh, one, when it comes out on PC for uh, to get all the achievements, 
because um, normally when I uh, get the PC version, I just do that on my own time and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? For Cold Steel 4, I think I'm going to stream that one too. Um, although for that one, I might try and do it all in uh, one playthrough. Uh, because uh, because it's on PC, I might be able to find like a, uh, like a New Game Plus save file and then just carry over the ability to... Um, do all uh, bonding events in one run. Uh, because that's the really only limiting factor, I believe, in most Trails games in one playthrough. Because you can generally do it all as long as you play your first time on uh, Nightmare. Uh, so, I'll be excited for that. You know, Spirit Elixir and Life Elixir. Well, I'm going to have to do that. Chug those. Flamestone obtained. Perfect. Better weapons. Um, yeah. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm damn excited. I see. So basically, the Kingdom of Eternia existed in an era where primordials flourished. Yes, that's correct. I, I can't believe people actually lived alongside primordials. That literally contradicts every last scholarly paper written on the subject. How long ago did primordials exist? At the moment, all we know is that they lived a very long time ago. <laughs> but no one knows for certain when the primordials flourished. I know your memories are fuzzy, but do you remember anything else? I remember my name, and I remember I was the Maiden of the Great Tree. I also remember sharing my consciousness with Adol through dreams and the crystals. But I don't remember why I'm here in this era, or why I was asleep at the base of the Great Tree. I can't remember what brought me here. What brought me there? What is the last thing that you remember? Well, I remember getting on my, on my knees and sucking some guy's dick. What? No. Um, I was holy woman. I prayed. <laughs> hmm. I was planting a prayer tree in order to guide Adol to the temple, and, and then, um, huh? Oh, my brain. Ugh. Just call me Ash, cause my eye hurts. <laughs> Are you okay, Donna? Y yes, I'm sorry. I just felt lightheaded all of a sudden. The more I try to remember, the worse it gets. What do you want to do about this at all? I still got a lot of questions for her. Maybe we should try to help her get her memories back before we do anything else. Get her memories back? Where would we even start? That's it. Adol, will you allow me to accompany you? Of course. Who doesn't want another female in the party? <laughs> I knew you would say that. The visions of my past that you've been experiencing. I think those are the keys to regaining my memories. <clears throat> I get you. Guess I know what we're doing then. You're coming with us, Donna? Then you can be my big sister. <laughs> I would be delighted. It seems you've reached a decision. Yes. I'm an old man Thanatos. Father! Hmm, hope we're not interrupting. You're on in Thanatos. Looks like we're all here. Basil, good going with you, World Pay. You been playing any fun games lately? Alright, everyone, listen up. There's a reason I called you all here tonight. What are you talking about? Thanks to Thanatos and Hummel, we got our hands on some ship blueprints. And since we got so many people here, I figured we could start on building it. Ah, finally! I hear that, but we got a problem. Namely, we need a ton of materials to build it. At all, I'd like you to be in charge of gathering the necessary materials. Obviously, I've asked the others to help you, but you're the best man for the job. Oh, you played the fairy tale game. How was it? Helping out won't be a problem. Agreed. After all, we've been working toward escaping this island from the beginning. No objections here. <clears throat> Hmm, glad I could keep this brief, then. I tacked a list of all the materials we need on the bulletin board. Check it out when you get a chance. Speaking of ships, I've been hearing a weird rumor lately. Dogi, now's not the time. Uh, it is fun, uh, but so excited for Cold Steel. Yeah, I mean, that really is just like, okay, every day, counting down every day, come on. October 27th. Come on. Just get, just get it. Mm, come on. 
Uh. <clears throat> Wait, what? What weird rumor? Oh, well, a strange fog has been rolling over the ocean these days. And whenever that fog rolls in, it appears. <gasps> what? What appears? N no way. Yeah, way. I'm talking about a ghost ship. <laughs> uh, a g g g g ghost ship? Oh boy, I know about ghosts. I've always wanted to meet one. Even at my age, the thought of seeing a ghost with my own eyes gets my blood moving. <laughs> I must admit, it sounds interesting. You gotta be kidding me. The only thing I'm more scared of than ghosts is dealing with my angry wife. Is October 27th when it comes out? Yes, I believe it is. And I believe that's also when, uh, what is it, the Shadowlands expansion for WoW comes out? My friend is more excited for that. We can t You can definitely tell where our interests uh, diverge. But it's funny because it's like, oh yeah, on August 27th, neither of us are going to, or on uh, October 27th, neither of us are going to want to talk to each other for a few days because we're be busy. Um, <clears throat> this island is crazy enough without adding rumors of a ghost ship into the mix. Yeah, I thought it was pretty nuts at first, but it sounds like a lot of the other castaways have seen this thing too. Mm, we have a lot of witness accounts, but no concrete proof. Honestly, at all, I don't think you guys need to worry about that right now. Well, that's good to hear. Ooh, I'm safe. <laughs> I understand that our main goal is to build the ship. But aren't we forgetting one important detail? Do you mean the primordials? Yes, but not just any primordial. The one that sank the Lombardia. We can't achieve our ultimate goal of leaving the island without clearing that obstacle. Well, th uh, thought it would release a bit sooner. Yeah, it, it was hopeful. Hopeful that it would release sometime sooner, but, uh... October 27th seems like a, a decent amount of time, where it's like, okay, it's in the... It's in the third quarter, it's in the fourth quarter. It's in time for... It's close enough to the holidays, but not too close to be overshadowed by a lot of the big releases that are going to be coming down. And... Definitely, because it's, it's rumored that, um the next-gen consoles are going to be coming out in, like, November. So, it's good to get a, get games for previous gens out prior to then. Although, PS4 games are probably going to be coming out for the next year, two years. Um, and it wouldn't really matter, because I believe the PlayStation 5 is going to be backwards compatible with most PS4 games. Um, I don't think there's, like, an extensive list out yet about what ones are and are not, but... I feel like the general idea is that most will be. So, even if a PS4 com game comes out, you might be able to take advantage of the PS5's extra power, which would be interesting. Because I remember playing, uh, when, like, when I was going through Cold Steel 4 uh, on the PlayStation, like, on my PS4 Pro, there were certain parts where it was like, okay, you're working hard here. Like, <laughs> like especially in the... Uh, not the final dungeon, but what should have been, quote-unquote, the final dungeon. The one where everyone was. Like, you had the massive party. Or Cold Steel 3, sorry. Um, like, so, being able to tap into PS5 power would probably be interesting for uh, what I presume is also a uh, power-hungry whore of a game of Cold Steel 4. <sighs> Good point. Even with a ship, we can't go anywhere with that tentacled son of a bitch roaming free. Mm, but how do we deal with a creature that has domain over the sea? Mm. Um, if I may, based on your description of this creature, are you talking about an Oceanus? You know what it is? Yes, the Oceanus was a monstrous beast that threatened ships in Eternia as well. Extensive research was carried out in order to establish safe passage by sea. Records of the Oceanus' ecology might still exist somewhere. R really? Yes, at Baja Tower, a research facility east of the capital. All our historical records and other valuable information are archived there. Though we call them Saurians in my time, I know we researched them there. The Tower of Primordial Research. However, I still don't know if the tower is still standing. You should head over there, Adol. It's the best lead we got at the moment. Understood. We might also find clues at the tower that could help us recover Donna's memories. 
Yes, thank you. All right, Adol. I'm counting on you to gather materials for the ship and explore that tower. Figure out how you're going to tackle this, and best of luck out to you, buddy. Hmm, we're all on the same page. I love it when a plan comes together. The rest of us will start prepping to build the ship. Let's do this, everyone. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hoorah! <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking this weekend of... Uh, I've been playing uh, uh, Shimagami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. That's a JRPG title. Where the, where the dam on the 3DS. But I think I might also dive into uh, Black Desert Online just to see what that's about. Because I got it for free when they were offering it for free on Steam for like one random weekend. And I was like, you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll jump into this. Because you know, I'm generally not an MMO kind of guy. I played WoW when I was younger and I've played various other free ones uh, between then and now. And they've never really caught me. But Black Desert Online seems pretty cool. So I figured I might as well try it since I got it for free. I'll see how that goes. And I might be addicted to it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> By the way, Hummel, since you finally finished that job of yours, are you planning to stay with us? Um, we're very grateful for your help. I just assumed you would have left by now. Yes. Naturally, I'll stick around. The job's not over until I'm back at my safe house. The Tribaldo family has lived by that motto for generations. Oh, I see. <laughs> Guess we're all helping each other off of this. Guess we're all helping each other. Guess we're all helping each other out to get off of this island. There we go. I'm glad you're sticking around. Acknowledged. Donna, right? How do we get to Baja Tower? Hmm. In the central district of the capital, there's a bridge east of the stupa. If you leave from that bridge, the highway will take you all the way to Baja Tower. Are we going right there? Or are we going there right now? I don't mind if we leave now or later, but now seems as good as time as any to start gathering the materials for the ship. Why don't we check the bulletin board before you decide, Adol? Man, my, my ability to read sentences just decreased after that mistake. <laughs> Once you're ready, we'll depart. Yay! Yay! So. I was aware of Castaway Village through sharing your consciousness, but it feels so much more real when it's right here in front of me. But still, I have questions. I wonder why I'm here. Isn't escaping this island your main goal at all? I'd like to stay with you until you're able to do so. I want to figure out why I'm here and hopefully be of use to everyone. I'm sure we'll get along at all. Um, I need the person to give soap to. That's formula. It seems different than the modern one, so it might be hard to understand, but it has illustrations, so I'm sure I can figure it out. Blood formula. Delight formula. Hemostatic. Full potion. Brew. What do you need? Um, yeah, just give me. There you go. Give me a couple of Please those. Come again. It's going to take a cup. It's going to take a couple of days to reach the nearest port. I think I need to prepare for seasickness and dehydration. I see. So you can start your preparations now. Yes, but a lot of these medicines are pretty difficult to brew. Would you be able to help me? You're pretty. <laughs> of course. Um. Dr. Lewis in the face, which follows example. I need to find out who I give soap to. Do I give you soap? Don't be even here. She would show around. I must say, Don seems like a very curious girl. Reminds me of the first day of Rakota. Who do I give soap? Where is. Make juice now. Um, presumably, don't give soap to you guys. Doc, I'll finish. Lend a hand when I can. Yeah. Check the bulletin board. Rotor Valley. Okay. To hunt. Interesting. So, I should give you the Firestone. That way I can get better weapons. What yes. should I upgrade? Tech tight or yep. All right, Dunamis Edge. Okay. Leave it to me. Whew, it's complete. Leave it to me. Yeah, just give it. All right, finished. Grand Saber. I'll get started. Whew, it's complete. Okay. Nope. Let's uh 
Let's make sure everyone started. that I use is at least at the next level, and then Ooh, if I complete. need to, uh, I'll get started. If I need to gather materials, I'll at least be able to. All right, finish. So. I'll get started. Okay, so I might right, not be finished. able to max out her. I'll get started. Or I might just be able to do so. Ooh, it's complete. Yeah, I'm just able Leave to do to so. Tech to Ooh. It's complete. All right. Okay. Cool. How can I help you today? Cool drummer. All right. Whatever. Don't need it. So that might be something I need to uh, find. Uh, tech Tidor. Construction's finally begun. Yeah. Leave the farm to me. See, I probably missed a whole bunch of seeds because I didn't get every chest in every area, but I'm not too worried. Because, you know, it's not like I'm doing a whole bunch of cooking, so having the farm completed doesn't really matter. Ah, drinking tea while being embraced by the wind is the best! By the way, Adol, you show marvelous technique with your sword. I'd like to fight you once. <laughs> if the moon strikes you, let me know. <laughs> this freaking grandma is the baddest bitch in the entire island, and I love it. You like soap? No. Okay. Okay. Are you for soap? Adol. Oh, Adol! I heard we're finally going to start building the ship. Please leave the sewing of the sails to me. Ugh. Uh, are you in pain? My stomach isn't feeling well today. Uh huh. Adol supported Allison and helped her onto a bed. Then he immediately informed Lick to check on her condition. Hmm. She's finally resting. What's wrong with Allison? Well. She's pregnant. What? R really? Pregnant? You mean I'm gonna be a big sister? She's in the last month of her pregnancy, so she's due to give birth rather soon. I know she wasn't obviously showing, but how could I not have noticed? D don't blame yourself. I was hiding it. Why, Allison? My husband Ed and I knew I was pregnant before I ended up here. I just didn't want to cause a problem for everyone. But I guess it didn't make a difference in the end. You're not causing a problem. That all is right. We would never consider you or your pregnancy a problem. Everyone in the village is one big happy family. We all rely on each other when things get rot. F fuck. Tough. <laughs> right now, your main concern should be your unborn child. You need to make sure you get plenty of rest, Allison. Y you guys. <laughs> Everyone is really happy for you. Allison, I think you collapsed because you've been working too hard. I need you to stay rested until your baby is born. I'll do everything I can to make sure you deliver a healthy, happy baby. I'm sorry, but I'm not more experienced, Doctor, but... No, you've been very helpful. I trust you'll take good care of me and my baby, Dr. Licht. Adol, I prepared some new clothing for you all before this happened. Even though I won't be at the shop, please take whatever you need. <laughs> okay, free clothes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> if only. If only it was that nice. Thank you, Allison. Make sure you get plenty of rest. That's your top priority now. Yay! Allison has been working really hard. I just wish her husband was by her side. She said his name was Ed. I hope we find him. We've searched this island high and low, though. Yes, we have no way of knowing if he even made it here. But it won't do Allison any good to get ahead of ourselves. Let's just do what we can for now. Oh man, I wonder who the next person we find is going to be. Okay, flash move times two. Gain SP when attacked. Evade rate. Fishing skill plus one. Holy shit. Resist poison. Okay, let's go. And check. 
Yeah, so I don't think I can. I just, I, yeah, I just don't have the gather supplies. Talk to Dogi, Hummel. Maybe I want to transport the egg that I found back to where it belongs. Kina. Uh, in the cave near Gendarm, there's a swarm of beasts called Graduna. The carpers they reproduce quickly. And then Macheros wrote, God damn. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of quests. Oh, he likes the soap. Cool. Mm -hmm. Is that... As Adol produced the snowflake soap, Hummel snatched it up. Ah, so it is soap. I'd given up a hope that I'd find any on this cursed island, but you have excellent timing. I'll gladly take this. I was there to wash. No. That's right. Yeah, so let's leave it at that. The transport can never leave any traces on their packages. It's of dire importance that we keep ourselves clean. A sensible and helpful gift indeed. Yay. Okay, egg delivery. About that, allow me to explain. First, I need to take a look at something. I've hidden it beneath the ground. I buried this motherfucking egg. Obviously, it's an egg. I stumbled across it on the beach near the village. Is that primordial egg? Yeah, that's what I figured. Laxia told me this egg belongs to a pterosaur. Either way, an egg this size could feed a lot of castaways. At first, I thought we should just crack it open and eat it, but apparently that's not an option. Feel the surface. Edel reached out his hand and touched the egg Hummel was cradling. A faint pulse could be felt within. <gasps> you feel that? This egg has already been fertilized. But if we keep it here, the offspring inside will die before it hatches. I want to bring this back to its nest, but, well, I can't do that on my own. I mean, look at the size of this thing. That's why I'm asking you to help me out. Sure, I'll help. You're not going to ask why we're doing this? Hmm, you're rather compassionate. Still, I appreciate the help. Thank you. Now then, pterosaur primordials tend to build their nests hot in high elevation areas. With that in mind, I don't remember seeing any nests on Gendarme. It must be in the island's northern region. Let's, tra let's transport this package. Pterosaur egg obtained. Okay, and then, and then perfect. Oh, Adol, come here! I'm making something really cool right now, Adol. So I want you to help me. You should totally help me. You're making a charm, right? <gasps> what? How'd you know? How'd you know? Adol, explain the name of Queen's request spoiled the surprise. <laughs> I've been outsmarted. Fine, I'll tell you anyway. I'm trying to make a beautiful charm for someone. That's why I'm looking for shiny materials. I'm looking for three Saurian scales. If you find any, can I have them pretty please? <laughs> Are you making this for your boyfriend? <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, Adol. Do I have three Saurian scales? Yes, I do. Wow, you're the best at all. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe I should stop making it now. I gotta catch your run off guard to borrow his tools. <laughs> Just gotta go steal some tools from Euron. That old sour puss. Scrub a dub, scrub a dee. <laughs> oh, done. A beautiful, sparkling, clean whale charm. <laughs> Euron is about to catch you. Oh, shit. Whoa. I better head back. Coming at all. Yeah, that looks good. Sahad said when you visit a sailor's grave, you bring him a charm for the voyage. Helps guide them to heaven. Oh, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <laughs> you really like the Captain. <laughs> yeah, because he saved me. I don't remember it much, but I know he protected me with that big body of his. He gave his life to save me when I was in danger. Thank you, Captain, and I'm sorry. You're strong. Well, I can't grieve forever. I gotta move on eventually. A lot of people have helped me so far. My mom gave birth to me. My dad worked hard for me. 
They all really helped me out. So I gotta keep smiling for them. Captain, I'm okay. Everyone's helping me out. You don't have to worry anymore. Man, this child is strong. This child has more of a backbone than most adults on this island. <laughs> I hope you're resting well, too. Afterward, Adol helped Queena clean the captain's headstone. Queena told Adol that she visits the captain every morning. Together, they cleaned the captain's grave and wished his soul a peaceful respite. Man. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Okay, so we need to talk to you, hunt Granduna. Yeah, Gendarme is lousy with those damn Granduna. It looks like the lot like helpers. Quick reproduce, not safe to leave them to. How about you thin their ranks? Count on Anya. Okay, that's the map. And then where's Dogi? <laughs> What's up, brah? Did you get the materials we need to boat? Need 20 pieces of sturdy lumber, 20 thick hides, and 10 iron ores. Are you sure that's okay? Thanks, buddy. Better tell your Thanatos about this, too. <laughs> Here's all that material. Looks like we got all the materials we'll need for a while. I know it wasn't easy, so I really appreciate your hard work. <laughs> now we can finally stop putting it together! I never thought this day would come. It feels rather strange, actually. Hmm, we still, hmm, we still have a lot of work ahead of us. Work. Now's the time to start manning up. Uh, still, this is a happy occasion. You can see the face seam on Adol. It looks like <laughs> just going straight down his face. Yeah, we've come this far. So now we just gotta see this through. We can't start slacking off at exploration or raid battles. The real work begins now. Yeah. Let's keep it up, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Bandit bracelet obtained. Okay. What ones are still here? Uh, in the cave near Gendarme. Thanatos. Uh, okay, so I think you are 19. Wasn't there one other thing that's a quest? So I'm gonna might as well hunt them. Death pack. Yeah. Cool. Um, so now I can just head back to here and report that, get that quest done. Nope, did not want to start cooking. <laughs> Graduna. No more Graduna. I definitely no slouch. One more problem solved. We did it. What? Defense elixirs. Oh, yeah, I need to chug those real quick. Uh, where are you? Okay. Perfect. Adol is becoming Superman. Moonlight Harvest. Okay, I need to talk to Licht. Licht. Victor Licht. Where is Licht? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Is 
Interesting. How the hell are you? Oh no, he's he's in the cave. Okay. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Ugh. Come on, get out of here. At all, sorry to bother you. You should gather some medicinal plants for me, but the plants in question can actually be found anywhere. However, the ones I need to brew truly potent medicine give off a faint glow, so you won't notice them glowing during the day. So you have to gather them at night. Because of this unique feature, the plants actually notice moonlight grass. Very knowledgeable. Now, this is common knowledge among medical residents. As for where you might be able to find it, well, Antos told me he's seen it growing on the rung in Darme. Gendarme. However, it's very dangerous for the average person to explore that area at night, so I'd like you to go there and find the plants for me. Thanks in advance. Five samples should be more than enough. I know I'm asking you a lot, but please don't push yourself too hard. Um, okay. And I'm curious, because I'm like, well, what if I have... What if I already have some of that plant. Okay. Good to know. So I, I basically have to go there. Ah, okay, so that's what it is. That's why that's a special thing. Okay, and that's story. And that's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dogi and start the hunt for the eroded materials. Oh. For the eroded thing. Hunt. Uh, take back Eroded Valley. Man, level 50. Whew. Okay, let's start this! Yes! And it's also good to do these because it gives me materials. Alright, bring it on! Ran away. My turn now. Cowards. Oh, I am awesome. Just let me jump over that. It's so annoying. Don't underestimate them. Is everyone okay? 
okay? Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. Because he just showed up in eight, <laughs> I think. Jesus. Whew. Man, was not expecting that. Just came out of nowhere. Oh, I am yeah, awesome. I think that went well. Only took, what, nice. three rounds? Great. <laughs> great job, everyone! Yeah, good job! <laughs> Yeah, at a 10. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> what a great job! Right, we got an A rank. Damn, Damn. that's good. Uh, pretty good. Double A, that's fine, I guess. How impressive! Mission complete. Great job. Okay. These two. So, which is one of those ones that I can, yeah, can come over here and spend a night? Definite exploration. I do love just rapid jumping up inclines. Okay, so we just gotta find five of these moonlight grasses, yeah? As Lick said, this plant gives off a faint glow at night. Let's search for the grass and keep an eye out for anything glowing. Tally ho! Like we've gathered enough. Let's put in a thing. <laughs> yeah, one thing. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I think because I have like item up, I could just collect more. So many. But I'm more curious just to explore. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage now that I have the upgraded weapon. Mashing just R1 when you're about to be hit really does just give you so much flash guard. And that's a bunch of Saurian scales, which basically negates the effect of Queenus quest on my inventory, which is nice. Um, here you go. I'm glad that they don't make me walk to it if I go there. 
<sighs> Under a code of direction, Adel and the others cooked a million in the ingredients in the cabin. Resting their tired bodies, everyone enjoyed a hot meal over cups of warm tea. Wow! Look at the stars! Look at that skybox. It's beautiful. Indeed it is. I think the moons are hanging lower than usual tonight. It's been too long since I've seen such a clear, starlit sky. The last time I saw a nice sky this clear, I was in the mountains with my father. He and I would take trips there quite often when I was younger. On clear days, father and I would spend the day looking out from here. This is my favorite spot on the island. You lived your entire life looking out at this stunning view. Indeed! Even if I escape this island, I'll never forget this spot. This is where Father taught me about the heart of everything. Heart? Before, when I wouldn't see a beautiful view like this, I wouldn't feel anything. All I cared about was looking for food. Ah. My mentor and master taught me how to survive, but Father taught me how to appreciate beauty, delicious food, and having fun. He taught me a lot of words that helped me understand the heart of everything. And then, fishing together became fun. The food we ate together tasted delicious. The sky we saw together looked beautiful. Building this cabin together made me feel happy. Rakota, I'm going to escape this island someday, for father's sake. But I will never, ever forget our time together in this cabin. You can come back someday. Oh, I'm going to come back to this island as a full-grown, world-traveling adult woman. You'll help me, won't you, Adol? You have to promise me, Adol. I like how she does just copy poses. <clears throat> we should probably get some rest. We need to be at our peak tomorrow. Are you tired already, Hummel? <laughs> you gotta loosen up a little, Hummel. I say we stay up and have ourselves a good time. You guys are too eager to slack off. I always keep my focus on the task at hand, like a professional. Hmm, <laughs> it is getting rather late, though. We should get some rest. <laughs> How lamentable. We'll all come back here together, won't we, Adol? Okay. Ooh, that was some good sleep. Yes, I feel very well rested. Thank you for letting us stay at your home, Rakota. <laughs> no thanks necessary. Now then, let's return to the village and deliver these to Licht. I was thinking about this. It's bullcrap that I don't have the, uh... The... The Terracops wings. Um... Because Donna should have had them, yes? So why am I not able to get the item to double jump? Give it to me. I wish it. I wish to have it. Okay. <laughs> Literally had to cut one thing of grass. <laughs> you found the moonlight grass for me. I'm so sorry I made you do something so dangerous. It was fun. <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. I could learn a lot from your adventurous spirit. I promise I'll put these plants to good use. Thank you so much. Yes! Great job! Moon tears. Mm, delicious, delicious moon tears. I drink the tears of the moon goddess. Okay. Nope. Um, I'm wondering if I can uh, talk to Monkey Man now. it is a new chapter, so probably, it's probably denoted like that, where it's like, oh, every new chapter you can do it. So, I will train you next, Bluebeard. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> must be talking to me. 
Oh, for Master Kong, right, coming, right, right mango? Oh, for the right mango. So this is gonna be tough because he doesn't have a fully upgraded weapon. he's not that tough and my character's in new game plus so it doesn't really matter because their levels are high all right i did it what's this strange feeling <laughs> just punch there yeah. go below. <laughs> what a nifty skill Master says, I don't deal with rude people. We meet again on the shore near the odd-shaped rocks. Yeah. See you later, then. Away. Odd rock coast. <laughs> Man, I wonder whatever. Wherever could he be? Um, okay, so I need to come here. Just a matter of figuring out which one will probably be fastest. Let's go here, because that's probably faster. But, regardless. But now, now that I have all these people with upgraded things, they're these things shouldn't be nearly as tough. <laughs> Knocking them down and then just doing a move like that is the most important part to killing these things. Oh, nice. Uh, and Adol is almost there. Still requires 4,000 XP, which says a lot. Um, regardless, let us away. Okay, I had to remember which way it was actually out. Okay, now we're going, going, going. Yeah, it's always fun to just kill that big thing whenever you're in the area because of how much XP it yields. 
think it's honestly more worth it than not to just go for it while you're there. tough for me to remember where everything is when I'm uh, doing breaks in between playing for a week. Week-long breaks generally uh, bullshit. Generally cause things to quickly fade out of memory. Because I definitely feel like I've gone to the wrong area. No, actually, no, I went to the right one. Probably would have been faster to go the other way. Yes. Interesting little part. Everyone cast a bit. Okay, I'm gonna start on it. Yeah. yeah. Are we having the pregnant lady help? Thank Stone you, pillar everyone. was cleared. Thanks to everyone's help. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I think this is one of those. Huh? Hey, check that out. The view is great. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of those things where I can't advance right now. Um, yeah, because I believe I need double jump. For this area. No. Got to appreciate the uh, dodge roll in the air. Ooh, a treasure chest. Come on. Fry recipe. Great. You can do it, Lexia. Ooh, a treasure chest. Right mango, perfect. Um. Stop annoying me, all right, for a small second. Uh, yeah, like I'm just looking, and there might be a way. Oh my god. Like, there might be a way for me to get to those chests by, um, by essentially rolling in the air for, let's just not even take a risk, just pop a skill immediately, that way there are no enemies, because you do not want to be knocked off up here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, something's there. a nest here. This looks like a pterosaur nesting ground. This is a great view! What a nice home. <laughs> what a nice home. Hmm, maybe it's this one. Yes, I'm certain this nest belongs to the pterosaur we're looking for. The markings and shape of these eggs match. 
Is this where father got captured? <laughs> That's right. Your father mentioned something about that. Anyway, how's an egg end up in the ocean from here? Maybe another pterosaur tried to steal it. It wasn't uncommon for saurians to fight one another in my time. Mm -hmm, I see. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> Sup? You want to fight? Because I'll kill you after returning your child. Oh no, we need to get out of... No, it's okay. Oh? That would be a dumb mother if it, uh... <laughs> if it was like, here's your baby. Oh, I'm gonna fight you. And it's like, well, we're about to make some orphans. Shing! <laughs> Is it thanking Hummel? Yes, that's what it looks like. I, I can't believe it. Mm, I guess it really was worried about its egg. Well, you can relax now. Your egg is safe and sound. Cow! Hmm. Hopefully next time you'll keep a closer eye on your eggs. Life elixir obtained. Cool. Just had that? Ah, I see. <laughs> I accept this as payment. They're, comp they're communicating with each other. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> this pterosaur knows Hummel is a good person. <laughs> Hummel's a great person. Caw! And away, <laughs> motherfuckers! That was great. That was great. Ugh. And speaking of great people, everyone watching, everyone, everyone following, you're also great people. I want you to know that. Never forget that. Um, so I might be able to do a dive from, like, here to over there, but it, it, it might be questionable. So I'm gonna save, that way I can load in case I need to retry. Um, also remember uh, to uh, mouse over the video player and vote for the game I play essentially after Cold Steel 4. Saint Ring. Uh, which one is the Saint Ring? It's the... Nope. Equip. It's the one half SP cost. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's one of those real good skills. Uh, max. Almost at max for that. Still working. Still working. Um, honestly, because I'm trying to only use those like level those up. I might as well just take off the max ones. That way they have to use those skills and will therefore level them up. Um, now I'm trying to eye where the chests are prior to me. Okay, so there's one over there. looking at the wrong one. Okay, so it seems like it's over there somewhere. I apologize for that. That's one of the main reasons as to why I would rather do this when I'm home alone, but that is incapable of being done this weekend. That's the one I got. Where's the other 
Is it up there? Damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, th this is the one thing that I don't exactly care for on this. Like, it's very finicky about the direction you hold. Ugh. Uh, when you're doing the climbs. is giving me a lot of good stuff. Okay, and then there's just one last chest in a in a that way direction. Looks like something's here. Gotta appreciate Adol's knees, because they would be demolished. Okay, go out charge chests. So that's good. And now let's come back to here just to make sure all the um, quests are done. No quests available. Cool. Um, that's good. So just coming back here was the... Oop. Donna? Everyone. If it's alright with you, there's a place here I'd like to visit. That's fine by me, but where is this place? It's up ahead, just through this essence tower. Well, I hope you remember anything? I'm not sure, but I feel like I should see it for myself. Let's get going, then! Yeah. Uh, where? This is where we met Thanatos. Something special about this place, Donna? Um, I feel like there's supposed to be a building up ahead. Hmm. There wasn't a building there when we first came here, though. Oh, I see. Special thing is over there. Nope. Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure. So we need to go this way. Come out over here. Because, I guess, because there was that quest that opened up that uh, room, the guardhouse storage thing. So, that's what this is. Yep. Walk right in here. Tectite ore, that's nice. Vivine bitters. Heavy gauntlets. Okay. That explains it. And that's why it's important to do the quests and that, uh, and all that stuff. Okay, one day I will find <laughs> those small amounts of personality, because like total explored 99.854, like Jesus, how am I missing that one spot, those tiny percentage? It's 
going to be such an annoying piece of crap place too. It's going to be like, oh yeah, you just need to go here. And it's like, oh great. I missed one room or something in all my playthroughs of this. This is a point four missing, so I probably just didn't go around an edge. But yeah, I've gotten just about every single thing. It's crazy. Um, okay, so now, where's the story? The Towel Highway? Ooh, I like that highway. I believe I'll need to exit the way I came in and go out east. Okay, 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 okay. Put a lot of effort in all these statues. Have some fucked up faces. Look at all them weird statues lined up there. This place looks pretty roughed up too. Donna, where does this bridge go? Huh? Oh, this bridge continues east out of the capital. If you stay on it, it will take you all the way to Baja Tower. Hopefully we can find information about the Oceanus there. Guess we better cross this bridge, then. Um... May I ask you a question, Donna? I've noticed that all the buildings in the capital are rather large. Oh yeah, I think you mentioned something about that earlier. How the windows are placed too high and the steps of the stairs are too wide. Oh, that. I think we Eternians were taller on average compared to you. Hmm? Well, you are rather tall for a woman. Actually, I was considered very short by Eternian standards. Everyone towered over me. What? Is that true at all? Sounds about right. That's surprising, but I suppose it explains the size of these buildings. I'm the shortest one here, so this is really inconvenient. <laughs> you just haven't hit your growth spurt yet, Squirt. As long as you eat a lot and sleep a lot, you'll be taller in no time. But that's not how growth works. <laughs> really? I hope I get an hourglass figure like the ones I've seen in my books. What books are you reading? <laughs> I don't know about all that, but it's true that kids need plenty of food and sleep. This door can only be opened with essence. I see. That appears to be a measure reserved for important facilities. Yes, you're right. I should be able to open it. Please give me a moment. <laughs> wow. It seems to have worked. Let's keep going. Highway. Looks like we're out of town. Look at that huge tower, at all. It's really big. That's Baja Tower. I'm relieved it's still standing, even if it is leaning quite a bit. So that's where your people conducted research on primordials. Yes, but our research on essence was actually far more fruitful. You mentioned that you opened that door earlier using Essence. According to Adol, Essence is almost like some sort of mystical power. Using Essence allows you to manipulate the natural order of things to produce various phenomena. With it, you can read air currents, control fire and water, and even see visions of the future. The power of Essence is what allowed the Kingdom of Eternia to flourish in the first place. I can't believe a power like that actually exists! You saw a moving statue. Was that because of Essence too? You mean the guardian statue at the temple? Yes, that statue was animated by essence. Some objects, objects in the capital may even still be animated due to the essence they contain. <sighs> You're blowing my mind here. What should we do at all? We've come this far. We might as well head straight for the tower. 
Well, the stairs seem to be not there. The area surrounding the tower has changed drastically since my time. We need to go around and approach the tower from the north. This road was part of the overland trade route. It used to lead to foreign lands, as well as smaller towns and harbors. That must have been a long time ago. This place is a deserted island now. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. Fooey. Fooey. Oh, something was there. and all that material. <laughs> just, it was about to charge at me. <laughs> and I just went into its face harder than it was going to. Yeah, this is great. I love having stronger weapons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save here, and this is where I'm going to end the stream, because it has been almost two hours, so I'm getting a bit tired. And, you know, I don't exactly like streaming under these conditions that I'm currently in, so, oh well. But, <clears throat> thank you, uh, WorldPay, for joining in the chat. It was very nice. It was nice talking to you for a little bit. Um, and, you know, hopefully I'll uh, eventually be able to stream under better conditions um, whether or not it's in my own place or not. So, hopefully I'll be able to stream next Saturday. And, uh, yeah, that's, I think that's about it. I think that covers it. So with that, I hope you all have a very nice week, and will join me next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>